All right, getting back into some more Firefox tips. So here we're gonna learn a little about refining your searches down. Um, so there's a few things you can do um, using little symbols on your keyboard uh, to get better search results. So for example, if you wanted to search through your browsing history and specifically for, um, for page titles, you would use something like say PC Mac uh, and there's a lot of things I've searched for or um, or are you know saved of mine but if you use space after your search and then use the uh, upside down carrot symbol which is shift 6 on most US keyboards now these are all things that are from my browsing history I also happen to know that uh, I've been to CNN at least a few times in the recent weeks so if I did CNN that now these are all so something with um, from CNN.com and the aster or the the upside down carrot symbol means those are things from my browsing history. Now if I was look, looking bookmarks, don't know if I actually have CNN bookmark, but if I use the asterisk symbol, uh, that I don't. What I happen to know is I do have PC Mag, as you can see there. So if I did PC Mag, excuse me. Uh, now there, that's the the asterisk means it's the stuff for, from my from what I've saved. Um, in currently open tabs, I actually know I have a YouTube tab open, so that would be the um, percentage sign. So if I did YouTube and then a percentage sign, remember to keep that space there, and switch to tab, that gives you the option because that's one of the tabs I have open. Uh, and if I looked in recent history, again, that would be the upside down symbol there you go um, you could also combine these though you get into some real weeds if you do that like uh, if you want to look over uh, things from your search history that you happen to have open in a, a current tab if you have a million tabs open that kind of can come in handy so there's those sort of things you can do so the main searches you can use and uh, they're all listed on pcmag.com on our story uh, is the upside down uh, tilde symbol with shift f6 for matches in your browsing history. You can use the asterisk for matches in your bookmarks. You can use the plus symbol for uh, pages you've tagged uh, if you ever use that function. You can use the percentage sign for matches in your currently open tabs. You can use the tilde symbol, which I believe it is called, uh, this little sucker. Um, that is for matches in pages that you've typed. And the pound sign for page titles, if you want to just look in, in those as opposed to the, the URLs. And then the at sign for the web addresses, for the URLs um, that you can search, search through. So those are things you can play with and uh, see what you can come up with. Have fun.